Alrighty YouTube, welcome back to another G Auto Repair video. Today we're gonna put this bad boy in action, the flush uh, gun that I made. I did a video on uh, how to make it. Uh, just a quick rundown on how to make it and a review. If you haven't seen that video, I encourage you to go ahead and check that one out. Um, today we're gonna actually see it in action in this 1999 Mazda B2500. Uh, what we got here is a catastrophic internal compressor failure and uh, we're gonna have to flush out this system I've already removed uh, the uh, the accumulator and the compressor and uh, I loosened this line here that goes to the compressor to the condenser and we're gonna flush out the entire system now just to show you guys what we're working with here here is the old orifice tube as you can see all this crust and crap in there that is a, a dead giveaway that that something failed internally big time uh, and it I think we also had the accumulator the desiccant bag inside rupture because I see some fluffy uh, bead like particles in there as well so um, definitely we're gonna have to take care of this here's the new one just for comparison uh, I don't know if you guys can see that in the bag or not but major difference this is our new compressor new accumulator I buy these kits these Santec uh, AC kits um, they come with a little measuring cup o-rings uh, expansion device compressor and accumulator all oh, and oil all in one kit so I tend to buy those a lot here's the old one yeah that sounds like like it's grinding in there so that's that's toast and here we have the accumulator it sounds like there's something loose in there so the desiccant bag probably took a beating and uh, ruptured, spreading some of that uh, internal stuff out and about. So what I'm gonna do is, I've already filled this up with my flush fluid. I tend to use denatured alcohol. There is a specific AC flush um, fluid that you can use. I tend to use denatured alcohol, it dries out very well relatively quickly it doesn't leave a residue and I've never had an issue with it that AC flush is super expensive and on top of that it kind of seems to be the same thing if you ask me I don't I don't know what's in it but it smells the same to me so doesn't mean anything but uh, other people have used other methods other chemicals to flush them out um, acids and stuff like that I use denatured alcohol, it seems fairly safe to me. Um, I do not flush water through here. I just blow it out after I'm done flushing. And I've never had an issue with it. So we're just gonna go ahead and put air. We're gonna reverse flush. So it, this tube um, goes on the other side of the uh, accumulator. So it goes in through here and out through here so we're going to go ahead and reverse flush we're going to go in through here and out through the bottom so I can you can see it there there is dye in the system already it's already flushing out I can see it now we're going to do um, this goes to the compressor Actually, I'll probably just do it from here. Oh, I'll be careful not to get this all over the surface of the car. I just already used it all up. It's gonna get loud here for a second. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and top it off. As simple as that. We're gonna tap this bad boy off. Flush the lines. This one again. Get any particles out of there. Okay. We don't want to leave any particles or anything in the system that can destroy the new compressor assembly so that's why we're gonna flush this now this is where I'm gonna kind of contradict myself if you watch the other video I said that condensers you do not flush this one I'm gonna make an ex an exception and I will explain why here in a minute um, so it goes from the compressor to the condenser so I'm gonna go ahead and reverse flush it and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this line here that goes to the orifice tube we're gonna hit it here there we go right out there quite a bit Pour a little bit more in here. We've pretty much already flushed the entire system. And we'll flush out the entire system here. So I just want to run some more fluid through. I want to run some more fluid through that uh, condenser. Now this time I'm gonna go the other way. It should be coming out. Oh wait, it ain't gonna do nothing if I don't connect it to the air, will it? Okay. All right. Guys, I'm probably not gonna see it. I see it. Okay. Yeah, it's probably hard for you guys to see that one. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit it here in the evaporator again. This time I'm gonna do it the other way. Yeah, you want to be careful that uh, you're not facing the general direction of the uh, of the hose. Because then you're going to get bathed in it. Okay. That takes care of that. But we're not done because we have to get all that residue residual uh alcohol out of there so to do that we're going to use um plenty of compressed air but before that i'm going to explain why i'm going to kind of contradict myself but to do that i'm going to get that little prop that i showed you on the other video and uh and then i'm going to explain why so give me a minute and i will get back with you guys hey guys i'm back um if you guys remember, I showed this piece here when I was doing the uh, the review and how to on uh, on the flush gun there, and I told you you do not flush condensers. 
And I explained why, because see these tiny little holes here, once the compressor, which is right here, fails and it starts sending all that crap to the condenser, this acts like a filter and it clogs up and there's no way that you can flush this. No way, absolutely. This condenser is a little different. It's not like this. It actually has thicker tubes to where it's more flush friendly, if I can call it that. It is more flush friendly and uh, for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and flush it. And it's kind of difficult to see. Let me go get my camera. I will be right back. I'm sorry, not my camera, my, uh, my flashlight. Okay, so I'm back with my flashlight here. And I said camera earlier, I meant to say flashlight. And uh, you can see here on the corner, I'm not sure if you guys can get a good look at this, but you see the little tubes here on the side of the condenser. Let me try to see if I can get you a closer look. Right here. See those, those are the little tubes that go through the condenser. You might be able to see them through the fins there. I'm not sure. I can see them, but I don't know if it'll show up on the camera. But that makes it a little more, a lot more actually, a lot more flush friendly compared to this style here. It's more like a radiator. Very, very fine holes and there's no there's no flushing this forget about it replace it so that's why i kind of said i was going to contradict myself a little bit here whereas i'm going to flush this one and normally i i would say not to but that's the only reason this is an older style condenser they're more forgiving versus the newer condensers i've been around for a while now actually so this is a 99, 98, 99 model, so it's a little more forgiving. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get prepped up and uh, we're gonna flush uh, all the rest of the alcohol out with compressed air and I'll show you how I do that here momentarily. All right, so we're back. I already got my air gun here and we're gonna do the same ordeal. We're gonna go in through here and out through the bottom and uh, you're gonna see all the stuff going out there. And this is gonna require a lot of air. A lot of air to get all that out of there. Same thing down here. We're gonna go ahead go reverse now let me get out of the way I don't want to get bathed in this again okay you may see that it doesn't have anything I like to pinch it off and then see how it's coming out now this has to be completely dry nothing can nothing can stay trying to show you what I was doing down there. I'm gonna do it like this, let gravity help us. Now I'm gonna do this with everything. The condenser, the lines, every everything in the system until it's completely dry. There cannot be nothing left here. Same thing here. 
Now this is just a quick, quick run through, but I'm not done yet. I'm gonna do this until it's completely dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue off camera, but this is just pretty much how you flush an AC system. I hope you guys found this useful and I hope you enjoyed uh, how that works. It's pretty nifty there. I, I don't regret making it one bit. Uh, like I mentioned the other way, uh, on the other video, you can purchase it already made, but you're gonna spend a, a whole lot more. And this, I've had it for years, years, and it's never let me down. So I'll uh, catch you guys on the next video. Like and subscribe. Uh, if you got any comments, suggestions, uh, please leave it in the comment section. Uh, maybe you use a different method, a different uh, fluid, chemical. I'm not sure. Please share. Uh, maybe I'll I'll take up on some of those suggestions. You know, uh, I've been using out denatured alcohol all this time. You see, it dries out pretty quickly. Everything that got soaked is already dry. Um, of course, in here you gotta blow a lot of air through it to to get it to where it needs to be. Well, guys, catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching again. Ciao.